Welcome to another commentary done by Dignity. Upper right in corner, we have Seeky starting as the red Zerg. Upper left hand corner, we have Terror starting as the blue Terran. This is going to be on Fighting Spirit Mania this time. Going to have a Northern Corridor start. Game three. Between Terror and Seeky. Seeky just looking unstoppable, honestly. In game one and game two, it seemed like the first series... Terra's unrelenting aggression giving him the set and series right now it looks like it feels like all of the rest of the matches are just going to push in Siki's favor really finding strong defense able to just shell up have perfect surrounds really catching army splits for a minute there in the last match I'm like Terra's gonna do it he's just gonna keep marching back and forth dropping the irradiates Keep Siki from having sufficient gas to really climb ahead, and he's going to get a solid enough marine, medic marine ball where he's just overwhelming. But it just never capitalized. Another forward barracks this time. Around the 9 o'clock. A little bit more... I feel like before it was just a little bit south. Not that that makes a huge difference. This time, though, Siki not going to be in position to go ahead and scout it. <clears throat> However, he's going to be in a much better position to defend it as he is going for an overpool. And this actually might be a quick one as a turnaround because this, this delays command center, this delays a lot of things, and scout. Oof, scout's going to be able to spot it. So first marine being produced, going up against overpool. See, he just needs to save the larva to get the zerglings out, which he is. I'm wondering if this is a response to this same play from last match. He's like, okay, you want to go ahead and play with this forward barracks? I will win the game outright by getting a build order one win, leading this SCV away, bottom left. This SCV is going to be able to scout, and this is kind of the heart-dropping moment, seeing all of the Zerglings spawn immediately. So now a bunker going to be necessary, and these Marines need to get back on defense. Natural expansion being grabbed. Sort of a build order counter. SCV taking a good amount of damage. Two SCVs, three Marines versus six Zerglings. And they need to get something done. They have got a lot of territory to cover. They got to re push this because, as you can see, yeah, these Marines get spawned. When they spawn, they're at a exposed position. One Marine with only five health left. Four Marines, three SCVs should be sufficient to go ahead and push these Zerglings back, though. So Terror holds, but all this time, he's not grabbing additional Command Center. He's still needing to redefend, and he basically has to pay attention to a portion of the map that he probably didn't want to have to deal with at this stage. Siki, slowing down his economy a little bit, but definitely worth the trade. Nice little tricky SCV moving across that northern corridor <clears throat> to go ahead and get some confirmations. Terror feeling he's got sufficient marine count at this stage. Gonna go ahead and plop down that command center. Marines now rallied to the safety of their brethren grouped. Two additional Zerglings hunting down that SCD. So both players kind of resetting. Lair on the way. Gas being grabbed from Terror. This did slow down that command center because he needed to produce a lot more Marines a lot earlier. We'll see if that ends up playing as a big factor. You can, I love what Sigi does here, where he's just trying to... He's like, okay, I'm going to keep the timing here, catch a little bit of damage on these Marines as they spawn, maybe even get a Marine kill as they pop out. That SCV looks like it's going to lose its life. Ah, uh, maybe. In that bottom right-hand corner. Layer just about finishing. An Academy not yet finished. So Terror... Potentially going to have a very, very hard time. So a lot of uh, SCV down. There's the Zergling. Got the kill. He's going to have a lot of Marines. But he's going to have to micro at a disadvantage. Because I don't even know that he's going to have range finished by the time these... Because the cat... So here's the Spire finished. Or sorry, started. The Academy just now starting Stimpak. An Engineer being dropped 
as well. And this has just been one barracks worth of production. Granted, there's a lot of Marines there. There's a bunker. But it's going to require a lot of turrets to help defend against this. Ziki continuing to be frustrating on that front door. Two preventative creep colonies, which honestly I don't think he even needed at this stage. Spire halfway finished. And this Rex... It's going to be a challenge to defend this because usually you're defending more of a pocketed base here, but this barracks also has to be defended by terror against the Mutalisks, and he can't really lift it because he needs to continue. So maybe with this second fire bat, he can lift it and bring it back. Two additional barracks being produced in the main, but yeah, so there's Stimpak finish. But we're very close to, yeah, that done. Range a ways off, plus one weapon's not there. Zergling's going for a run by. And Zeke's got to love what he sees here. Has to love it. Even able to get on top of some and able to disrupt some gas right there. Some additional Marines being taken out. Just sees the glow of the engineering bay. This barracks being lifted off and pulled back. But we've already got six Mutalisks at least incoming. And this is just a very heavily damaged, straggling, only a single medic amongst them, and two fire bats there. The turret's not yet in place, so it looks like there's one turret in the main. One turret, and yeah, this is going to be a hefty defense from Terror. Six Mutalists not quite grouped up, more incoming. Plus one weapons, and it looks like an expansion being grabbed in that bottom right-hand corner. So Terra's got a couple seconds. So just now range finishing, which at least makes this a fairer fight against the Mutalisks. So Terra able to at least survive, but he's still going to be boxed in for quite some time and not able to apply pressure to that bottom right-hand corner. And that is quite a distance for him to move as well, and he's got not a lot of Marines yet to do it with. Factory coming online. Weapons one about halfway finished. Mutalus able to take out some SEVs with that turret. Ooh, eating a lot of damage there. Zeke being a little bit too aggressive. And now actually down to just six Mutalisks. Still trying to prevent those turrets from going up so he can go ahead and deny these lower mineral patches. He can afford to be aggressive here, though, because Terra's still on the back foot. One Marine eating a single glaive stranded there. See, he adding more Mutalisks to the forward attack front. That is going to give him a count of 10, which leaves these turrets more vulnerable. Keep in mind, plus one weapons. Not that far off from finishing. Hydrosten being added on. With this amount of Mutalisks, he can two-shot those turrets. One of them actually being pulled back to go ahead and regenerate. And just absolutely whittling down the standing Marine army. Some medics exposed there for a second. One of them getting wiped out. Both of them getting wiped out. So only one medic remaining now. Which again is just going to make these Mutalists all the stronger. Ziki pouring on the pressure. Plus one weapons now finished. Still no medics to help support this very battered marine force on the front, and that bottom right-hand base is up and running. Extractor halfway finished to get Zeke his third gas. Drones group transferring to that bottom right to get it mining rapidly. Lurker tech also being upgraded. Another medic exposed. And yeah, Terror just does not have much of an attack force at all left. It's going to need that science vessel and irradiate just to stay in the match. I only see one Marine on the ground. Last medic taken out, last Marine taken out, which makes this base fully breached and Zeke testing that bunker, realizing it is just fire bats is gonna wipe that out as well. And Zeke with some relentless mutilate and that, oof. Convincing win here from Zeke, top to bottom. Terror at the nine, what, almost 10 minute mark, being forced to lift his natural expansion command center off. 
might lose the command center to these mutilists. Marines underneath still getting wiped out. Zergling sweeping in to go ahead and take out what's left of the turrets and that SCV that's, oh man, that poor SCV hiding in the corner. Terra with the supply lead, which is usually not what you see at the 10 minute 30 mark. Hydralisk lurkers, honestly, lurkers can just walk into that natural expansion and plant down. And coming down that ramp is going to be an effort for Terror. Stim. Stim. Irradiate just finishing. Might be able to at least get some breathing room to get that natural expansion back with a good irradiate. However, Lurker's already marching down. No turrets yet in place. Two more Lurkers walking up. And that Science Vessel does manage to drop an Irradiate, but is dropping that Irradiate on top of the Medic Marine Army. Scourge moving up. One of them able to land on that Command Center. The Command Center's in the red and burning. Lifted off once again, and more Lurkers taking purchase. Yeah, this game is over. Zeke with double the supply. Doesn't even need to bother with Hive Tech if he does not want to. More Lurkers grouping up. Terror doesn't have enough of an attack force to take these Lurkers out. Still gonna try. And just losing what's left of his Marine Force. More Lurkers going in to replace. And there's GG. Oof. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Game two. Sorry, is this game three? Game three. Convincingly going to Seeky. Hope you guys enjoyed it.